Danielle Page. I'm 29 years old. I'm a writer here in New York City, and I have decided before my 30th birthday, I'm going to freeze my eggs. I have no idea what the next 10 years of my life are going to be. My reproductive potential is about to start declining pretty significantly over the next 10 years. You know, I'm nowhere near the whole marriage, having kids thing right now, so I really want this option. I don't want anything in my life to ever depend on when I meet the right guy, if I meet the right guy. I really want to just live my life on my own terms, and I really appreciated egg freezing as an option that would allow me to do that. Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Klein. Hi. Danielle. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. Danielle. How are you? I scheduled a consultation with Dr. Klein, who took me through what the process would be like. Women are born with all of their eggs for their lifetime, and those eggs age with them. There's two dimensions to the change that happens over time. There's a quantitative dimension, quantity, which is the amount of eggs that you have left, and there's a qualitative dimension, which is quality, the health of the eggs that you have left. Women in their teens and 20s, the vast majority of their eggs are still normal, like 80 to 90 percent. By the time you get to your 30s, that ratio is shifting over to something like 50-50, about half normal and half abnormal. And by the time you get to your 40s, 80 to 90 percent abnormal. The good news is that we do have good tools to be able to try to gauge, to measure where you're holding with regard to your egg supply. And then looking at your, your individual numbers, I would predict is that you're someone who would make somewhere between 10 and 15 eggs in an egg freezing cycle, okay? Which is not a bad number to be uh, objective about it. It's a little lower than most 29 year olds would make. If you're freezing at least 10 or 15 eggs, that's loosely correlated with something like a 60 to 80 percent chance of having at least one baby come out of those eggs, which we would think is a pretty good chance. My first meeting with Dr. Klein was very overwhelming. There was a lot of information um, put in front of me that I hadn't realized or thought about. As a 29 year old, I didn't expect my test results to come back, you know, abnormally at all. It really solidified my decision to do this now because I, you know, have no idea where my egg fertility is going in the next year or so. In order for us to help get a group of eggs to grow, we need these hormone medications to stimulate the egg growth. I'm gonna teach you how to use the medications today. And before you leave here, I really want you to feel comfortable mixing the medications and preparing them. Okay. It's four medications and you'll make sure you take those shots nightly. This shows you where you'll be giving yourself your shots. Lower abdomen and outer thighs. Freezing your eggs is expensive. I was prepared to throw eight or 10 grand down, all told at the end. The medications actually were a surprising cost to me. I ended up spending an additional five grand on medication. Over the last two years, I picked up a lot of side work that allowed me to save. And then 30 came up really quick and I decided that the way I was gonna invest it would be in freezing my eggs. I came in on the second day of my period to start the process. They did blood work again. They took a look at my follicles. And those little black dots are the starting follicles. So I think between the two sides, they're somewhere between 10 and 15, which is what we talked about, I think, when we first met. They did give me a call that night saying, you're good to go. So I picked up the medication and started doing the shots. The second day of my period happened to fall during the time where I was going on a ski trip upstate. Thankfully, I was with my calmest friends who came with me to a truck stop bathroom that we stopped at with all of my medication that I had with me. I had my syringe, I had my Q-cap, this is for the manicure. People were knocking on the door, um, I was fumbling with needles, it was a whole thing. <laughs> I don't have any words, <laughs> this is going to be really bad. Hey everybody. So it's about 9.30 and that means it's time for me to inject myself with these fertility meds. The process of giving myself a shots definitely got easier as I got along. By day three or four, I had the whole injection thing down. Okay, I'm going to put my needles away and do this again tomorrow, same time, same place. So you started the shots. Yeah. And you have to give it to yourself? 
Yeah. So the first one is like in a pen, which is super easy. But then the other one, like the needle is kind of big, is it's called Menapure. It burns so badly. It, and you've got to sit there and mix two vials of it. So it's like you have to mix it yourself. Yes. Unlike Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> like all right, let's. This is a lot. It's a lot. I have so many questions about this. I guess I just never really considered like how your ovaries even work. Yeah. Like did I didn't I. really think about <laughs> the eggs. Or the fact that like you have a certain amount of eggs and it just like decreases. When you go through the process, what will be the number that you hear where you're like, okay, this worked. Like this is my ideal scenario. So I don't think I'm gonna get 20 on the first try, but 20 would be a number that I feel like good about. It's like a 70 something percent chance of having one kid. It would be crazy to me if like all 20 of if them If not were one just, of them was, you know. yeah. Well, what a time to be alive where you can like, do something now, you know, that will like give you that option later, but you don't have to decide today. Like either yeah. I want them or I don't. Thanks for uh, being there when I wake up, Brianna. I, <laughs> okay. I appreciate you. Cheers, Cheers to your <laughs> eggs. <laughs> to get lots of healthy eggs. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Good morning, how morning. are you? Good. Nice to see you. Me too. How are you doing? Hanging in there. All right, let's, let's do the ultrasound. We'll see how things okay. go. Okay, I think we are going to end up getting somewhere between seven to ten eggs total, and I think about five to eight of those are going to be freezable, mature ones. We spoke about the idea that to get you to a good place, I think I would want you to have at least ten frozen ones, which means, I'm saying right now, you know, don't hate me, that I think that doing a second cycle might be what's, what's best for you to do. Yeah. But let's focus on getting through this one first, and, and we'll talk about where we land, okay? All right. Hang in there. Thanks. So it's unfortunately not going super well. It's really frustrating because I'm going through the process and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. But right now he's anticipating maybe five to eight eggs, which is not a great number. That means I'm going to have to do this again. Hey everybody, um, I am on day 11 of egg freezing meds. Hopefully this is the last night because I'm running out of places that aren't really sore to inject. My legs are sore, my lower belly is sore. This has been a lot. I mean, the injection part of this has been a really isolating experience because no one is here with you when you're injecting me, or at least here with me, you know? This is one of the times where like I really wish that I still had a roommate. Um, so yeah, let me get going. All right. I will hopefully be recording my sugar shot tomorrow if I'm doing this again. Everybody. Um, I'm here with Nightmare on the last night of my injections um, and it is 9.12 and at 9.15 exactly I have to inject myself with the trigger shot. 9.15, go time. that we are done with injections um, so now in 36 hours at 9 15 on Thursday I'm going to have these eggs out of me finally thank God Okay, Brianna's gonna be here soon and it's gonna be Mom, mom, stop. Mom, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's good. We're gonna have it's grandkids gonna be and it's gonna be great, go, okay? Go get my grandbabies. Okay. <laughs> so this is an ultrasound guided cyst aspiration where we place a needle into each follicle, like so. 
apply a suction, and we see the fluid going into the tubes. Everything's good. The procedure itself takes about 10 minutes to get the eggs out, so it's very quick. The embryology team will tell us how many eggs they found under the microscope, and ultimately, by that evening, the lab sent us a report to tell us of the total number of eggs, how many of them were mature and therefore freezable. Um, which is about what they expected, which is it's very good. <laughs> That's what they expected for you. Tomorrow, the nurses will give you a phone call letting you know how many uh, we froze. Um, we only freeze the mature ones. Okay, did you have any questions for me at all? Okay, best of luck with everything. All right, bye-bye. Oh, that sucks. Six eggs. Six The day after my procedure, I got a call from the clinic. They let me know that of the six eggs that they got that day, they could only freeze five, which was definitely a bummer. It wasn't so much of a shock, but it definitely was overwhelming getting to the end of it and knowing that in order to really set myself up for success here, I'm going to have to do this one or two more times. I found that a lot of people are very secretive about this. They feel really ashamed. They feel like they failed at something because they're freezing their eggs because they didn't achieve what you're supposed to on a certain biological timeline at this point in their life. And I really hope that that changes. I really hope that people start being more open about this and feeling more empowered that we're living in a time where this is an option that's on the table that you can do. I feel more prepared doing it a second time. I would rather have my next cycle or two cycles of egg freezing hanging over my head than the idea that my fertility is just going to start declining at a pretty quick pace the next 10 years and I, there's nothing that I'm doing about it. Oh, <laughs> 30's rough. I have no idea what's next for me in terms of where the next 10 years are going. When I'm blowing out those candles, I just wanna be very present and not worried about my next egg cycle or like what's gonna happen in the next year or five years or 10 years. I just wanna take a minute and enjoy everything that I have right there. Happy birthday today fans thanks for checking out our YouTube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives